Well, I did find one paper focused on the world before the advent of the first umbral calamity, but it reads more like a work of fanciful fiction than an actual or academic supposition called the Bible. I said it. I went there. Thank you for your help, but I think I can manage the rest without your assistance. Oh, Ready for a tea break, Sagan Haft? I know I am. Honestly, my neck and shoulders are going to calcify if I don't stretch my legs and walk around for a bit. You know the last stand down in the harbor, don't you? Come and meet me near the outside tables and I'll treat you to the coffee. It's quite good. Okay, I gotta think. Ron. I gotta think Ron Weasley. Or Hermione Granger. as if it intended to for you. Oh, wait, maybe I unlock flying. That would be cool. Because I know in World of Warcraft you can fly in, or at least you could, fly in the major cities. Anybody who's watching, you know the answer? Anybody? Anybody? I'll have to Google it, probably. Which is fine. I appreciate you guys watching. You can be silent watchers. As I become more proficient at British. As busy as ever, I see. How very chalet in that no other gourmet cafe has sprung up to compete for customers. Actually, this crowd gives me an idea. Before we place an order, why don't we ask a few questions and gauge the mood of the city? I'm interested to hear what the average citizen has to say about the Telephoroi. We might even learn something new. Worth a try, don't you think? Oh, let's say it's now a company. Alright. I would never. I would never leave her behind. Do we get speech opportunities like the last time? Hildwa. Oui. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Très excusé de so. But we were hoping. Oh! <laughs> Alice is not French. Whoops. Uh, pray excuse the interruption, but we were hoping you might share your thoughts on the Tlilferoi and their unconscionable plans. Mon Dieu, if it is as the young Miss Levelle, my apologies, but I work in the offices of the forum. If the word would reach Master Fauchonor that I was helping you. I see. We're sorry to have bothered you. Wow. All right, folks, I challenge you, French to British and then back to French, good luck. Piron Die, okay, another Frenchie. What, what, what is it? Can a man not enjoy a moment of private respect? If you're looking to share a table, then I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. You must understand, sir, we were simply wondering if you knew of the Tlofaroi. These enemies of peace have promised an end to all we hold dear and... Wait, you're that house leveler, aren't you? And these women too is obviously a foreigner? I've heard you were deserved for helping our Sardiels indulge their barbaric dreams, and here you are giving truth to the rumor. I'll thank you to leave me be, if not to say to the likes of you. Well, I, I must apologize. It was foolish of me to expect an ounce of civility from one so enlightened. Come, Sagenhaft.
I bet he's a good old boy. What do you think? Hold on, let's see what he looks like. <gasps> Alright. I have no idea what that race is. But they always... I think they always talk like Highlanders. Like almost like drunken pirates, a little bit of Scottish and Irish. Welcome, madam. What can I offer you today? Wait, is that Mistress Alice I see there? My word, how long has it been? Far too long. Meet Dickon, the owner of the last stand. I used to frequent his cafe on occasion in between lessons at the studio. That seems like an age ago now. I remember hearing that you and Master Alfano had set sail for Aeosia, but then you never came back. Lately there's been gossip about your father disowning the pair of you. Everything alright at home? <laughs> it's complicated. I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite so quickly. Everyone has an opinion, it seems. Well, it is house level R. No matter how discreet Master Farshano may have been, news of your family's doings never stays secret for long. Things being what they are, what brings you back to the city now of all eight times? We have questions, and only Charlene has the answers. Tell me, Master Dickon, have you heard anything about an apocalypse called the Final Days? What, like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. And that's what you're here to find. Information on this apocalypse. Yes, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there was more I could do to help. But maybe there is. You're a visitor sure, to Shirley and aren't you? And few will know your face. You should be able to pass off you off as a server with none the wiser. We just finished preparing a few orders. Strike up some friendly conversation while you're setting down the food, and you might just get the answers you're looking for. <coughs> Not a bad idea, I hate to ask, but what do you think? That's the spirit. Pay attention new and I'll explain where each of these dishes needs to go. Ooh, I'm gonna get this wrong. The sea set is for the chatty group sitting by the water's edge. The omelet is for one of our regulars, a highlander by the name of Gisla. She's sitting at an outside table with a friend of hers. Alright. A girl and her friend. Omelet. Tea to a group. Behind them you should see a Mikout gentleman. He ordered the oven baked lobster. What all that? If you're not sure, just ask and I'll explain again. Good luck. Let's see if I can be a server, folks. Unskilled labor and all that. So place the correct dish on the bottom customer's first table. Well how do I know what I have? in order. Really? I was worried about this. You guys had my back, right? The little loaf of who? I'm sorry, I've never heard of them or their final days. My friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now if you wanted to hear about ritual arcane practices of the sixth astral era, common or esoteric, then I'd be happy to talk your ear off. and her friend. Okay, so these are the Highlanders. Okay. Oh. The Ah, finally! Two, four, six, eight! Let's do good, no time to waste! I remember seeing the name in the latest gazette. But that is some grand claim about the end of days. Same old senseless warmongering. When will these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood? Best stay out of it, I say. The 
far, I made the right choice, and I fully support our decision to remain neutral. Thanks, Jisla. Jisla. Sim... Snitutia. Uh, they all... They speak British mostly, too. The oven baked lobster is mine. You have no idea how long I've scrimped and saved and suffered to afford this heavenly dish. The final days. This is the first I've heard of it. Although that would explain why my friend has been rushed off his feet. It must be a busy time to be a gleaner. You don't know what a gleaner is. They're collectors of a sort. Travel the world proclaiming things that we haven't got here in Charlene. Poisonous books, unusual live specimens, and so forth. So named for those folk who trail after the reapers in the fields, picking up every grain which was missed. Aye, by all accounts, gleaning is a most meticulous and demanding profession. If these to low floor make good on their audacious threats, then many uncatalogued rarities could be lost forever. Why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy? Watch the harbor and you'll see what I mean. They're carting loads from the docks all day. It's never been this hectic before, not like this. How dark is that? It's like, yeah, we're archaeologists, essentially, and we just basically, uh, you know, <laughs> scavenge from the dead so that we uh, may pre uh, preserve your dying history as you bleed out into the soil. Like, really? Any trouble with the customers? Were you able to get anyone talking? Interesting. They seem unaware of the final days, aside from whatever vague news the Gazettes are going to. Even Dickon had nothing to offer, and he's the best source of gossip in the city. If the forum does have secret knowledge, then they've done an impressive job of ensuring no one whispers it in the wrong ear. In any case, thank you for playing the part so well. Yeah, that cup of coffee, I promised. But let's enjoy our drink somewhere else, shall we? Maybe behind the peristyle, away from the gossips and their wagging tongues. That would help if I knew what a peristyle was. What the hell is a peristyle? So it's a gazebo. Can't you just say gazebo? Maybe that's what rich people call a gazebo. Yes, this should do nicely. Out of the wind and out of sight. As your ear open? Alice, come on. When our father disowned us, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Graha said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark, and that father's venomous performance was part of that strategy. To keep us at arm's length, perhaps it was. Father argued with Grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. It was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been. How being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. 
not a chance in hell. Excuse me. They must be ferrying goods to Labyrinthos. A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Wait! Didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going more than usual? I'm smelling a dungeon. Well, I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. And gleaners answer to the forum. If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the Forum is planning. Yeah. Dungeon. Light party. Duty commence.